Hey, welcome to Reading Journey, my little butterfly wing. How are you? So let's take a look here. Let's see what the overall energy is for this situation. Let's see what the overall entry, energy is for you too. If you're new, welcome. If you're coming back, welcome back. Let's see. So we've got health, huh? Let's see. Overall energy for these two. Overall energy for these two. Also, if you're new and you want individual signs, I do those and information in the description box below. Also, personal readings, same day chats. Personal, you have to reach out to me by email. Health and fear. How in the world is this the overall energy? Let's take a look here. Health, fear. Okay. Let's take, well, let me get one more, all right? I just need to have forgiveness. All right. Health, fear, forgiveness. Some clarifiers up in here. Let's see. This looks like it's going to be a pretty deep read. Let me see. All right, sweet spirit. What's going on here? Also, if you want to know about the cards that I'm using, you want to know anything about me, that information in the description box below as well. If you're new, welcome, my dear. So glad you came by. Hope you find what you like. All right, let's see. Let's start with health, sweet spirit. What's going on with health? All right. So somebody's worried about their, okay, I feel like they're worried about their financial health, which is also affecting them uh, spiritually. I feel like this person is having a little bit of anxiety here. Um, somebody wants to offer you something. They want to offer you the world. Okay. They definitely want to offer you the world. They got to push. That's, I feel like the divine is pushing them to go towards you here with this chariot card. They're being pushed. It's funny because it's like, I just don't know why I'm doing this right now, but I need to do this, right? So they're trying to muster up the strength to come towards you. Not They're, they're going, though, because that chariot card is there. I've been in a situation like that where I'm just like, I'm like, why am I doing this? But I feel that pull and it's pushing for the divine, like encouraging me to do this particular move or step that need that I need to take. So they're definitely, they're, they're moving and they're getting the courage, courage as they move. So what I'm getting with this person, I feel like they're having the faith, right? They're, <laughs> I had the faith of Job, okay? Job didn't do too well. <laughs> so that's what I heard though. So I think that what they're saying is finally Job was like, you know what? He still loved God no matter what. He never cursed God. So this person, I feel like this believe this person believes in this connection or they have a connection with the divine where they believe in this connection and they're like, I got to do this, right? I have to do this because they trust themselves, because they trust faith, because they also want to get out of the shit that they've been in, they're going forward. They're being pushed because I feel like this person was stuck for quite some time. They were dealing with what looks like a queen of wands person and they were not nice though. This queen of wands energy I'm getting for her was not nice, okay? She's very, very mean. Very mean to this person. Had them in the Ten of Swords. Had them stuck deliberately. Maybe even had them. Yeah, they did. Some of you, they were deliberately putting this person. Like this person had a weakness, let's say. They had a weakness for alcohol. Well, this person would go ahead and buy them a whole bottle, even though they know. They're like, I'm trying to slow down, honey. Oh, okay. And then they go shopping. Oh, by the way, I got this. But then like, I thought you were going back. Oh, yeah, you did say that. That kind of shit. This person is evil. The person they were dealing with was evil as hell. Just rotten. That's rotten. That's so rotten. That person going to get their karma, though. You don't do that. That's nasty. All right, so let's keep going here. Let's take a look here. So I feel like you are in a winner position. I feel like... This person hurt you in the past, but you since got over that, right? You since got over that. I feel like you're more so focused on yourself, focused on where you're going in life. You've mastered your emotions. Let's talk about it. Hold on. Let's see. Hold on. Let's talk about it. You mastered your emotions. I'm here. Do you see what I see? I don't know why they said that. Do you see what I see? Why are they saying that? So I don't know. I guess you're really going within. You're connecting with the divine. You you now see things in a different light. You're more you're more mature. Like I feel I feel like you've mastered um 
You've mastered your emotions, whoever I'm talking to today, who I'm picking up on. You've mastered your emotions. You have, you're in love with self. You're in love with self. So good for you, love. Tell me more about what's going on with them. Good for you. We got the three of swords and we've got the three of pinnacles. So I feel though, there could be somebody moving towards you. This is going off the, this is going off, I'm hearing off the radar. There's somebody, there's an ex of yours coming in. You know why? Because this person who is definitely, this definitely tells me this is a divine partner that's yours or a twin flame of some sort, because this one's moving right on in. And this one really broke your heart. Okay, so this one, yeah, with the chariot card above, this person's coming in. They partnered and did something against you, and it has something to do with finances. It could be your stability in some way, something monetary, something monetary related. They did something. So just be on guard for that. Just ask the divine. What I would do is I would ask the divine, have me ready for when this person comes in. Because this person literally took over your role. This person's headed your way very soon. So ground yourself. Ask the divine to give you the strength that you need to be ready for this foolishness. Because something is coming towards you or someone's trying to come towards you with some information. Okay? Something that they did in the dark, but they're going to try to twist the story. This person did something dirty with a team of people. Yeah, they did. All right, so tell me more about the, the person of interest here. All right, so we've got independent wealth. So let's see, this person may feel insecure. They may feel like you're more financially balanced than them. I don't know why they're, they have that assumption, but they do. So they feel like you are more financially bound, uh, bound financially grounded versus them. They see you as a very, I feel like though this is just a perception in their mind. I mean, you could be doing very well for yourself, no doubt about it, but it's almost like it's a, it's a fear of theirs. If they're, it's a fear. So they're afraid that maybe you might find somebody more successful or you might not want them because they're not quite successful as you, successful as you, successful as you. They feel like you're somebody that doesn't take a lot of offers, that you're very picky. Good for you. 7.44 o'clock that you're picky about who you're with and that's why they finally don't, they kind of don't see themselves as a runner up. Some of you, they also see that maybe you're satisfied being single and that you're just focused on yourself. You've been focusing, working working on yourself and just working on your craft or working on your business or just um, working on, yeah, working on you, handling your business. So this, this puts this person in a little bit of fear because they feel, I'm hearing clearly, thank you, sweet spirit. They they feel that you may see them as inferior. Yeah, so they, they're worried about that. So let's see. Let's find out more about this person. So they want to give forgiveness here. So they want to give you forgiveness. Tell us more about this forgiveness that they want to give and why. I'm hearing clearly they made a mistake. Yeah, they're sad. They're sad. They want they want forgiveness. They want forgiveness. Why do they want forgiveness? And they think you're going to say no to them when they come in. Some of you may. Yeah, see, they want forgiveness because they married somebody else. Or they committed to somebody else. They had a commitment with somebody else. Yeah, that hurt override. They, like, passed over you. Had you under the assumption that something was good was going to happen. It didn't happen. Because they were listening to other people. I'm hearing it, particularly their mother. And they're burdened by it. They're burdened because they know they really, really screwed up on this. They really screwed up that they gave you an offer with a fish. They gave you this offer with a fish, but they know it was a bogus offer. It was lies. You could be dealing with maybe a Pisces person. Doesn't have to be, right? Any sign. I'll get to sign toward the end. But they offered you something to cup. So how in the world can you offer? And they know this, though. They know this, man. They know they fucked up. How are you going to offer this bogus offer to an empress? This woman embodies all 
the uh, queens in the deck. This is somebody that somebody felt they should be the mother of their children or father of their children, however you, you see it. They feel like also like they missed out an opportunity. They're thinking about it, like all they lost out on you. They were like all the things they wanted and they skipped over you and went to somebody else. And now all the years have passed and they can't get those years back. So in other words, you're thinking about like, dang, um, I spent, you know, 10, 15 years away from this person and I wanted to have children with them. Well, now they're too old to have kids. You know, they're not going to have kids at this age or, you know what I mean? Or it's something like I wasted all these years and I could have built a business with them. And now, you know, I don't know, like it's, I didn't mess up my credit. It's so bad that nobody else will give me a bit, something like that. Something like that. Like it's wasted years. They feel like they're wasted years. And you know what they are? I hate to say it, but they are. They did. In this case, they, they really missed out. They missed out on a blessing that God had for them. They had an opportunity to have the ten of it. I mean, they had an opportunity to have it all. Have it all. I'm even getting like the divine is saying, you can decide to repeat this, repeat a lifetime with this person, but I don't feel like you're going to do it. You're not going to do it. But the thing about it is, though, if we can just let go of the past, not see it as a loss and just keep going forward, this person still can build wealth with you, even at whatever age you guys are at. It's never too late. It's never too late. Um, but they really are regretful about that. Man, they are regretful about that. Yeah, they, they realized they, they fucked up. They did. They did. All right, y'all. Hold on one second. And I feel like I got the high priests flipped over here. So you're very knowledgeable too. You're very knowledgeable. Knowledgeable. They realize they let go of somebody who's connected to the divine. She carries the Torah. Read that. It says Torah. She carries the Torah. She's very connected to the divine. And they messed up on a divine being. I'm hearing once in a chance. <sighs> well, it happens. Well, let's keep going. Let's see what else this person is sorrowful about. Yeah, they're getting major karma here. Major karma. Yeah. Yeah. They didn't see what was coming. They have they they and they still got some obstacles to go through. Because they still gotta try to see if you're gonna say yes or no. And that tortures them every night. They're literally, they'd be up at night. It's like, are they going to say no? Are they going to say no? Because they literally have, they've had a wrecking ball come through here. Their whole life just ruined. But they just, they ruined it. Can't, can't, you know, you can't, you can't get mad at God about it. They're in fear. Fear twice. Here and here. Fear. They got, a, they got fear that you're going to say no. No, I don't want to marry you. Somebody's going to come in and try to marry somebody and they're in fear that you're going to say no. But they have no choice. They can't stay here because this is where they are. They don't want to stay here. They're, they're in crossword, crossroads. They feel like they're following their intuition. They feel like they're following their intuition. Because in the past, they followed friends. They followed friends and went after a soulmate. They thought that was their real soulmate, but it was a trick. Their friends were lying to them. They saw all the signs of synchronicities themselves. And I hear clearly they ignored them. And now what happened? A breakup and they found themselves in a toxic relationship. Living with a toxic person. Yep. Living with a toxic person now they're in regret. Now that person that they they laughed at, they laughed at you, went after this, right? Because they were laughing. They were, they may not, they may not have laughed at you in your face, but I promise you they were laughing with their friends. Keeping up that facade, even though they knew in their hearts they loved you. But they didn't want to, they didn't want to stick out. They didn't want to be an embarrassment. Now they had to go through all of that to have a they and they had a spiritual awakening this heartbreak brought them a spiritual awakening yeah they did they laughed 
they were dealing with this person. Yeah, because the person they were dealing with when they got new love, they had enough. It this ain't really new. I can promise you, the person they were messing with, well, they were getting new loves. Some some of you, this person was dealing with somebody who was a prostitute. They were. They were sleeping around for money. They just kept it on the hush. They weren't ones on the corner. They was just ones doing it from their house. I'll meet you at your home type of thing. That person was a player. And now, see, there's, a, again, there's a divorce here. That person was wearing a mask. They were singing a great song. And then God had to intervene. God was like, listen. <laughs> yeah. And now they want a reconciliation with you. All right, loves, let's get some signs here. Let's see who's involved. It's really sad, but. All right, so we've got a Scorpio involved here. We've got a Leo involved. We've got a Sagittarius involved. We've got a Capricorn involved. Pisces involved. Aries involved. Sagittarius again. Libra and Aquarius. All right, loves, I'm going to go ahead and end it there. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, hit that notification bell if you want more and hit the like button. It helps out the channel. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Peace, love, and harmony. If this is where our journey ends, thank you for allowing me on your journey. Namaste, loves.